Okay, now we are going to create our enemies. Um, you see, we get coins, but we ain't got enemies. So we are going to create a meteor that falls from the sky. And so we will copy this class coin and we'll make uh, all, uh, a very similar class. We're gonna change its name into meteor. We're gonna make two different images that can be chosen randomly. So we're gonna use the random choice function and that choose among a list of images like this, comma, and this. And here, instead of the image of the coin, we will put the variable image that will be one of that two images. So we are done with Meteor. Now we are going to spawn our items. Here we got, uh, we changed name. Uh, it was spawn coins. We call it spawn items. Here also, we change the name because now we can spawn both coins or item and the there will be this condition this else condition here that will make appear a coin before this there will be the if condition uh, that is a random condition so if random random is minus than 0 0.3 we will have a meteor so we are going to copy, to paste and copy uh, that code of the coin and call it this meteor, that is the instance of the class meteor. The meteor position will also be just like the coin position, randomly generated. This is the duration that will be set the velocity of the meteor falling and the run action we will have a sequence of action that will start from zero but instead of move by we will say move to zero minus 1000 and the duration will be random two three four and then we will we'll remove it and then we will append the meteor to our list of coins that we will call now list of items so let's change list of items here and we got to change it also uh, in the setup in the setup game list of items and i think and then in the collision detection collision uh, collision with coins we are going to change the list of uh, list of coins here in items okay list of items and so for coin falling coin in list of items and uh, and also this i will call them for item 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 i think we're done here and uh, instead of collision with coins collision with items and also in the update collision with items let's see if there is some Indentation error at line 80. 80, 80, 80, 80. Okay. So we forget indentation after the column here, the if condition. Coins reference before assignment. Let's see where. Line 83. Here it is, meteor. 
Let's do it again. Here it is. As you can see now, the meteor uh, have a different movement, but the same behavior than the coin. They gave me a plus 10 points. And in the next video, we are going to difference the behavior among rocks, meteors and coins.